Yeah, and and I think yeah. see when we when we don't have our prayers answered, we have to go to the throne of grace again and go. I'm going to ask because I don't see the answer. But just in case, Lord. Scripture says if I ask a misc, I'm not going to get it. So is there a chance that I'm asking wrong here? And if there is, enlighten me so that I can ask right so we can get this thing solved. Is it a timing issue? You know, if, 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 am I going to get it later and peace comes over you? You're like, I got peace about it, Lord, so obviously you've taken care of it. I just don't see the manifestation yet. Is it, is it warfare and I've got to keep going back to, the, to you and say, all right, we got to battle through this, Lord. And whatever the enemy's doing, we got to keep going through. You have to trust his timing, even though yeah. I need it now. Yeah. But other things can occur yeah. in between. And yeah. then when it happens, what you're asking is, hey, yeah. why didn't I think? Exactly. Why and, and we should never stop going to the throne of grace until we have the peace that it's been answered. And we have to learn the difference between the peace that it's been answered and us thinking that it's answered. Oh, I see what you're saying. We've got to learn the difference. Say that again. <laughs> we have to learn the difference between the peace that God has answered it so we no longer have to keep coming to His grace yeah. and the difference between when we think it's answered and God saying, I need just keep coming, just keep coming. Because you got to remember when when we're having that intimate conversation with the Father, it's it's drawing us closer to Him. Because it, 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 I don't know about you, but when I go through, is sometimes some of the sweetest moments I have with the Father because I don't like what I'm going through, so I'm going to go to the Father. He's <laughs> like, "Hey, Dad, that's nice to see you. Must be going through something. What is going on, son?" But he loves me so much, he doesn't just say, get out of here. The only time you come see me is when you want something. You know, anyway, hey, what's going on? And he'll try to chit-chat, and I'm like, oh, no, I don't want chit-chat. Nope, nope, nope. I need this. But there's times we actually chit-chat, and he cherishes those moments. You know, I worship him because of who he is and what he's done for me in the past. And it was fascinating that, that, that today he goes... I want you to worship me for the junk that's going on right now. I want you to worship me in the lack. I want you to worship me through the trial. I want you to worship me and thank me for, for all that because I'm doing something. I'm shaping you. I'm molding you. I'm preparing you. I need you to, to overcome some battles. And I'm going to keep sending you to first grade until you do it so that we can graduate you to second grade and we can go to a whole nother level. Thank you for getting me through first grade, Father. Thank you for helping me learn what I'm supposed to learn in first grade. I'm going through some first grade stuff right now. Help me, Lord. And that's what he was saying. And this is what Jesus said about this woman. I tell you, and it's about God. I tell you that he will defend and avenge them quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find this kind of persistent faith on the earth? Wow. The whole thing he's been talking about is persistent faith. Father, your word says. 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 And the father isn't going to be like the unjust judge and go, fine, I'll do it just so you don't keep coming back to me and going, the word says, the law is, I have this legal right. I have this legal document. I have a legal document, the Bible. Lord, the word says. And the father's like, boy, I love my kids. I love you so much because you understand what that legal document says. I love you so much because you heard me speak about a promise and you grasped it. And I'm listening. And there may be a timing issue. There may be a warfare issue. But you keep coming to me and loving on me and reminding me, even though I don't need to be reminded. Be a Moses and say, don't kill him, Lord. Don't, you can't kill him, Lord. I know you want to kill him. Don't do it. If you kill them, you got to kill me. But you already told me you love me, so I know you don't want to do that. But if you kill him, all those people out there are going to say, see that God can't even take care of his people. 
And Moses just kept interacting with the Father. And Moses had his own flaws half the time. Every, every great person in the Bible had their flaws. And they had to keep going. Uh, Father, I'm a rascal. I blew it again. Uh, I, I'm going through some stuff. You know, I... Uh, and David, you can have David's conversation. You know, I just committed adultery. I just killed her husband. You know, I'm probably going to kill some other people. And, you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to totally deny you for a few minutes. And then I'm going to, well, I'm Paul. And I'm going to, you know, Lord, I, I'm sorry. You know, I, 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 I you know, I, I killed, I killed many of your people. 